right here on early edition with it uh, 5:31 pi bringing pacific people together name of the song is what be happen it is 13 minutes past 10 right here on 5:31 pi bringing pacific people together Anna Lavecao joined the British Army in 2006 at the very late age of 28, initially as a chef. After returning from her first tour to Afghan in 2008, Anna was then given the green light to transfer as an HR specialist. This led to her second tour to Afghan in 2010, where she felt she was not alone as her younger brother also deployed with this regiment. After spending nine years actively working as a HR specialist, Anna finally decided uh, to make a move to PR media relations for the army. Anna Lavikau is someone who feels very connected to the art and culture of her Fijian heritage, having been raised by strong Fijian women in Rewa province in central Fiji. Anna Lavikau now champions Pacific art, design, and culture on the platform of the London Pacific Fashion Week, where she gathers together fashion designers from the Pacific region in London to coincide with the London Fashion Weeks in order to promote their own brands and for them to see inside the global fashion industry. Anna ma masterminds the events to ensure the widest possible audience is exposed to her work and has represented over 50 designers from all over the world. Anna Lavikau is on the line with us now via Zoom. If you are on uh, 531PI Facebook page, uh, Bola Vinaka Anna, and uh, thank you so much for making time to have a chat with us. I hope you're well and thank you ever so much for um, giving me an opportunity to share um, our London Pacific Fashion Week. Well, yes, you are coming through a bit patchy, but uh, we are hearing enough of what you're saying for us to, uh, uh, to continue. Uh, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, born and raised in Fiji, uh, did you ever think uh, in your lifetime that you would be doing this uh, in London? Absolutely not. Um, I um, I came to um, England because uh, I signed up to join the army, and um, in, in in my army uh, career transition, um, I've always been passionate about promoting Fijian um, art, particularly with Fijian dancing or meke, um, and then that just sort of you know, took um, a, a high priority in terms of the extracurriculum activities that I would do outside the forces. And uh, that actually led to um, an amazing opportunity to then showcase the South Pacific um, on our world sort of state platform, not just promoting dance, but promoting fashion designers, uh, artisans, painters, musicians, dancers. Um, it's just an opportunity for any islander to say, you know, London, I'm ready. Where do I go? This is your platform. What year was that? When did you uh, hold that first one? Um, my first one was in 2012. Um, I was still serving, so it was a charity fundraiser for the Band of Brothers. Uh, as if Band of Brothers is part of the uh, Help for Heroes. Um, I sent an invitation out to 10 top designers in the Pacific. I had the likes of uh, Linda Lepo, Shona Tafia, Vinnie Larkin, all from New Zealand, uh, Lorena Fifita. Um, they all responded to the call out. And uh, a couple of big names from Fiji. We've got the likes of Robert Kennedy, 
Papua Hoida, um, and uh, Andy Koilangan, um, were, you know, one of the many um, key designers that traveled that flew in. Um, I worked in partnership with Rosanna Raymond, um, and uh, we worked closely with using our very first uh, London Pacific fashion show. Wow, 2012. Uh, you've had it every year since, or there have been some years when you... I've, in 2013, I decided to launch my own brand. Uh, so going back to um, the formation of uh, the London Pacific Fashion Show, initially I wanted to launch an art exhibition for my brother, um, Rusi Abdelali, an artist based in Fiji. Um, so when I approached the Mark Gallery in London, the first question they asked me was, what is Fijian art? And um, I was taken aback because I, you know, the, the curator was literally looking at the links of my brother's work. Um, and then she, and then I said, you're looking at it. I've sent you a, a proposal with um, a couple of his um, artwork. And then she said to me, Anna, but do Londoners know what Fijian art looks like? So I was taken aback by that comment. And then I realized that Londoners do not, you know, there's not much art exposure, Pacific art exposure, Pacific dance, Pacific fashion, really. So, you know, London is lacking a platform that speaks Pacific. And then that's when I realized you know, they really need, you know, I need to do something about this. And um, that's when I launched the London Pacific Fashion Show. Wow. Uh, and uh, when did you have that uh, first London Pacific Art Show? Um, it was October the 5th. Um, I organized and produced a one week event. Uh, I worked in collaboration with the University of Cambridge. Um, they were, in, in the time, they were actually launching a, um, a Pacific, uh, sort of a Pacific art exhibit, a Fijian art project, rather, um, exhibition. So, this, you know, um, Anna, we would like to host your designers who are traveling into a workshop at Cambridge. Um, and so it was the University of Cambridge and the University of uh, East Anglia. Uh, so I had um, support from uh, Dr. Katrina Ingleston, um, who spearheaded the workshop side. Um, and then afterwards, um, we had the support of the Yami, the London uh, garrison that hosted the media launch, together with the Fiji High Commission, um, His Excellency uh, Mr. Solomara who is the um, Fiji ambassador in um, 2012. So the support was amazing. The support that came in from the dependents. Most of my models uh, were emerging models. Um, you know, they all ranged from young teenagers to the wives of those that were serving in the armed forces. Amazing. Um, so that was 2012. And in 2013, um, I was just so inspired by the, the mana, the energy that all these designers had brought to London in October um, that I said to my brother that we need to launch mm -hmm. our own brand. So in 2013, I took a break and then I launched um, uh, my brother and I, we did a collaboration and launched uh, a swimwear and a tribal underwear. Um, in 2013, um, and in 2014, I decided to start my preparation for the Rugby World Cup. Uh, there was a festival um, that the Rugby World Cup committee was organizing, and they wanted fashion um, representation in the festival. Um, so I then started to prepare the 2015 Rugby World Cup show, uh, and then I just didn't stop. I ran from 15 to 16, 17 to 18. And now we're in 2021. 
Wow, wow, what a journey. Uh, for you, uh, having traveled from Fiji uh, to the British Isles, does uh, that feel like your base now? Uh, there is no coming back to Fiji. Uh, you've got to do as much as you can while you're on the ground there. Is that uh, the drive for you now to promote us as much of our Fijian and uh, the Pacific region uh, culturally in that space? Um absolutely um two years ago um i started a project called project kalu kalo um, and project kalu kalo was a project that was aimed at building a very first fijian bure of fijian Ma uh, fijian lipa in the uk um so um it, the bure the, the the idea behind the bure was it was a cultural hub of learning where Pacific Islanders would feel that they had, um, you know, a marae, a fale, that they could go and work and promote their art. And it was an actual building dedicated to Pacific Islanders. So with that vision um, of building a Fijian leaf house um, in the UK, that's when I decided that, you know, I'm not just here for fashion, I'm not just here for designers, I'm actually here the future, the future generations, the, the, the future children, the, the, the young children with their parents who are in the British Army and the Air Force and the Navy, um, you know, of Fijian heritage or future Pacific Islanders who have settled in the UK, they need to have a hub where they could connect to. Um, so yes, the, the answer to your question is, um, I'm actually here for the long run. So uh, where is the Bure uh, project at? Uh, when are we likely to see uh, the Bure um, standing? I've, I've, I've encountered some obstacles because um, as I was going through the Bure project uh, launch phase in 2018, I linked up with the head of the council uh, in Hampshire. Um, and um, what happened was we were going through Brexit um, the funding wise, everything had to uh, be basically put into a halt till, um, till the whole Brexit situation was over. So luckily, um, that's just that's just ended. You know, we've just come out of Brexit this year. Um, well, last year really. So um, I'm waiting for COVID to slowly fade away, and then I have to jump on board. Um, you know, back into the uh, into the game of um, continuing the journey with the uh, project of the Leaf House, and and obviously continue the journey um, with our London Pacific Fashion Week preparation. Now, uh, many of our people there, uh, we are doing a lot of work on the rugby field and on the rugby league field in terms of promoting the Pacific region. Uh, but uh, culturally, it must be opening doors up. Now, people are familiar with Fijians because they play brilliant rugby, Samoans, Tongans. Uh, that must make things a bit easier for you on the ground. You're not having so many people saying, what's a Fijian culture? Well, luckily for me, I have a dance group uh, called Mekhe Art Tribe London. And uh, since 2013, during the Rugby League World Cup, we were invited to open the uh, Fiji versus Australia match at Wembley. So my dance group did a, a live performance at the Wembley Park, Wembley Stadium rather. Um, you know, so over the years, I've always had to promote my Fijian dancing as part of the opening to a match um, whenever Fiji would play. Um, so. You know, our rugby stars, our Pacific rugby stars, they are, you know, they are our Pacific brand ambassadors, but there's only so much they can do because as they are playing rugby, you know, on, with their respective clubs, um, the, you know, the branding is really focused more on the club. So sometimes I really have to reach out to the players to say, you know, please come and attend our Pacific event, you know, just to kind of uh, have, a, have a balanced representation of you know, the work that you do, the work that our designers do. And, you know, I've been lucky over the years um, that I've had 
support of some key players. Uh, but more importantly, I've also had the support of some of uh, Pacific London's um, very own Pacific stars, like the Lion King, um, Nick Afoa. Um, Nick has been very supportive of us in 2018 um, in supporting our platform, uh, in modeling for the show, um, you know, and um, all, all in all, everyone, every Pacific Islander who's in London that's, you know, that's here for work or here for rugby, you know, I have to be honest with you, every day they are specific. They're promoting their islands through their media releases, you know, through their social media streams. And um, we're so lucky because we're all singing the same theme. We're all singing the same song, really. Absolutely. Speaking of luck, uh, we thank our lucky stars that we've been able to get a hold of you. Unfortunately, we couldn't come on air as uh, soon as we would have liked. Uh, so therefore, we have run out of time. Uh, but Anna, it's been an absolute pleasure talking with you. And uh, I certainly look forward to uh, catching up with you again in the not too distant future to get an update of uh, how things are going. Wish you all luck uh, with baby in June. Yeah. How is that going? Uh, so, sorry, I didn't get that. Sorry. Uh, uh, did I uh, misread that you're having baby in June? Absolutely, yes. I'm having a, well, I hope it's going to be a Gemini baby, uh, even though my daughter's like, no, it's not going to be a Gemini baby because <laughs> it's, you know, it's June 27. <laughs> I don't need any more Geminis in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, my partner's a Gemini, my daughter's a Gemini, so it'll get a bit emotional if I have another Gemini. <laughs> Uh, Anna, it's been an absolute pleasure. I look forward to having a chat with you again in the not too distant future. Vinaka, have, have a fabulous day. Vinaka, Vinaka indeed. Uh, that was Anna Lavikau, uh, originally went to uh, Britain uh, to join the army, but now doing so much more, doing amazing things, especially 